Hello everyone, my name is Twilight Mew, and today I'm going to be taking a couple different LOL dolls and basically drawing them in my style. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and yeah, let's get right into it. I actually don't own any LOL dolls, um, but I see them literally everywhere in stores, and I know they're very popular. So I decided, you know, the designs are cute, so why not? Um, I didn't know what series to do from. I don't know which one was the most popular series or not, because again, I'm not really into these dolls, but I just googled LOL dolls and chose the first ones for series that popped up. I guess this set or the series is the makeover series, so I went with that and I had like a whole list of like the ones you could get and I just chose a couple girls that I thought were cute. So the first drawing I'm going to be doing, or the first LR doll, is Yang QT from The Opposites Club. Um, I don't know if anyone owns her or, you know, if she's a fan favorite or rare or anything, but I thought she was cute, so I would, why not? I love the whole black and white aesthetic she's got going on for Opposites, and I really liked her dress. <laughs> so I'm going to be drawing Yang QT from The Opposites Club. Growing up, well, when I was growing up, um, we didn't have, of course, we didn't have LOL dolls. Um, I guess our version of LOL dolls are, or were Polly Pockets, and I actually really liked Polly Pockets. They're like pretty much the only dolls that I could stand. I actually used to be so against dolls when growing up. I was, I was a huge tomboy, but now seeing as I collect a bunch of anime figures now, um, I love dolls. They're great. I, I understand why people like them. <laughs> I think what's most fun when drawing different like these dolls is pretty much the different hairstyles. I just love drawing different hairstyles and I'm a sucker for pigtails. I really wish I had long like longer hair than I do now so I can put them in big like poofy pigtails. Those are like my favorite things. So Yang Cutie was really fun to draw. I just love her pigtails and her dress is really cute too. Like I, I kind of really want that dress in real life. <laughs> Now, like, they're supposed to be, the whole, like, I guess, concept of this is, um, different clubs and activities after school clubs, and Yang UT is in the opposite club. I don't know what they do in the opposite club, to be honest. Like, what would they even do? Um, will the, will it be kind of like opposite day, where in that club everything is just the opposite? Like, they just speak in opposite terms? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Yang Cutie's design was really, really simple and kind of just, you know, like simple colors and basic design and I think that's why I chose her first, to draw her first, because I wanted to get a feel into what I'm getting myself into and I'm like, yeah, let me go with a really easy design, but cute, this is a cute design, um, to start off, you know, this kind of small series, so, you know, so I know what I'm getting myself into and... She was really, really fun to draw, and I had a lot of fun, so I'm like, yeah, yeah, let me continue to draw more. I do like her little leggings, stockings going on there. I think that's a really nice touch, and I love it so much. So here is Yang QT from The Opposites Club. I hope this one turned out really well, and let's get on to the next doll. So moving on to the next doll, we're gonna be drawing splatters from the art club. Um, you know, you know, you know I had to choose this doll because simply just because she herself is in the art club and hello, I'm an artist and I would have loved to have an after school art club in my school. I would have loved to be in that club. I absolutely love her dress design. I love the idea of just like different color paints dripping down. I love that idea. So I'm like, yes, hello, yes, I'm living for it. And she's messy, you know, she, she's an artist, she's in the art club. And as an artist, I can confirm that yes, we can be very messy at times. I just like the little details, like the paint dripping down from the bow. I don't know if that actually does well in the doll. I'm just going after the picture, so the dolls could have not had the same effect as you know the pictures do, but I like that. I like the little paint look she has, and her hair is pretty unique with two different dye hairs. I'm always a fan of that. 
The one design that I don't really like about this doll is how big her like boots are. Um, cause I'm trying to make it just like, you know, the picture it says in the doll itself and she's literally just wearing a dress and big boots. <laughs> like, these are big thick boots and I'm like, wow, okay girl, I see you, but how? <laughs> That was a very, you know, artistic choice for you to go with. Um, personally, I wouldn't wear this outfit, but maybe the dress alone, totally, but not not with these big boots, but I guess it fits, you know? I always thought it was a little weird, but hey, it, it's, it's an artistic choice. She's in there. She's in the art club. It's very artistic. <laughs> This of Splatters was actually probably my favorite color just because there are so many different types of colors and they just all flow well together. She was definitely my favorite to color in um, throughout all these dolls. I just thought it was really fun. I love the whole different paint like splattered across her face. Again, that's probably why she's called Splatters because she's got paint splattered all across her But I just love that detail and I thought it was really fun. It was very, very satisfying <laughs> to color that in. I have like my music in the background when I draw and it was just, it was just really satisfying to draw that. <laughs> So, since she's in the art club, what do you guys think she draws? Like, what do you think's her art style? Um, based on her outfit, I want to say it's really cute. Like, she draws probably a lot of chibi characters. Um, do you guys think she's an anime nerd? I I'm kind of feeling anime nerd, but at the same time, not. I feel like she just likes to draw cute animals and stuff. She's a very cute, you know, creative artists out there one of those chibi artists but yeah here is splatters um from the art club i really like her design i like again i keep i can't stress this enough her dress is everything please let me have this dress please lol create this dress in real life but yeah here is splatters from the art club all right and moving on to our final doll of this video I didn't want to make this video too, too long. It's already going to be about 10 minutes, so I decided to just do three dolls for this video. And the final doll I'm going to be drawing is Snow Bunny from the Chill Out Club. I'm not going to lie, guys. The only reason why I really chose this doll was because she's wearing bunny ears. And I really, really wanted to draw bunny ears and I thought her design was so adorable so I had to go with Snow Bunny. I just had to. Who couldn't? Look at her. She's cute. Now I personally think she's probably the best well drawn in my style out of the other two dolls just because I had a really good feel of how to draw these characters already you know because I drew the other previous two so she is definitely my favorite that I've drawn. Also she has a whole pink vibe going on with her, and pink is my second favorite color, so bunnies and pink, and it's great. <laughs> so Snow Bunny is in the chill out club, so she likes to chill out, and she's basically wearing really, really comfy clothes, and I thought it was really cute, so... I had to. I want to say she's wearing a bathrobe. I think that is, but at the same time, I really don't think it is because I don't know why she'll be wearing a bathrobe to a chill out. I mean, I guess, you know, chill out with a bathrobe, but typically I only wear a bathrobe when I just get out of the shower. This is an after school club, so I don't know if it's just like a nice little, like, um, lounge comfy wear i'm not really sure what else would it be i'm pretty sure it's a bathrobe but at the same time i'm not sure can someone please tell me what she's wearing <laughs> please and thank you i wonder what they do in the chill out club i really just want to say it's probably just a bit one big kind of like sleepover where they all bring in you know they wear their pajamas oh wait you know what she could have been wearing her pajamas now that i think about it because <laughs> it's a chill out so I'm gonna go with pajamas. Um, yeah, I like to pretend that the chill out club is probably just one big kind of like sleepover thing where they bring in movies and candies and, you know, just have one big fun movie watch, I guess, what you do at a sleepover. I don't know what else you can do at a 
club. I guess just chill and talk and probably play video games and board games. Oh, I love board games. So I guess that's what you do at the chill out club. I would have loved to have that, you know, at my school, but we just had a lot of sports and all that boring clubs. <laughs> Although I did know girls that used to come to school in their PJs, so to me, I guess this is just looking at another <laughs> girl from one of my school, everyday school. So here is Snow Bunny from the Chill Out Club, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I know this is something I haven't normally posted or done before, but if you guys did like this video, then Please let me know and please let me know if you want to see more and if so, what dolls should I do because I just picked out some random dolls. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye!